The Miller's Daughter is a Warner Brothers cartoon from 1934. This is directed by Fritz Freelang and written by Tom Armstrong. And the voice cast includes Elvia Allman, Bernard B. Brown and the Varsity Three. And I don't know exactly how I feel about this. The music is really great, particularly the bit with the clocks. You'll know which bit I mean. And the animation for some of it, well, for most of it, is really good. But the actual narrative is really slow. It's about these little figurines that come to life and uh, they look fantastic. I love the designs of the figurines and the other characters that we meet. There's a lion that I thought looked pretty interesting. So the animation is actually generally really good, but everything that happens seems to last a long time. It's a very slow film. Not a lot happens. We spend a lot of time on each aspect of the story, so we don't actually get that much variety in this. And the things that do happen are generally not that interesting. Some of them are okay. For example, the bit with the clocks, as I mentioned, I thought was pretty good. And the lion looked good, but what the lion actually did wasn't that interesting. So it's not bad, but I think there's a lot of room for improvement. It could have been a lot more engaging. It could have been a lot more entertaining. I think mostly it's about the pacing. If the pacing was better and then that allowed us to get more of a, a variety in there, it probably would have meant there would have been more to enjoy. So it's not so much what we get as how long it takes for us to get to the next thing. Though, as I said, the things in it are not tremendously interesting, but they're not bad as such. It's certainly not badly animated. And as I said, the music is really good. I generally really like cartoons where inanimate objects come to life. And I was really looking forward to this. We also have a cat that features and I love the design of the cat. It's certainly very cute. So I don't mind it, but if I were to rank all of the Warner Brothers cartoons that focus on inanimate objects coming to life, I have to say this one would be quite low down. It definitely wouldn't be high up there at all. If it sounds like your kind of film, then I'd say The Miller's Daughter is worth watching. But if you're not that bothered and you're just looking for a, a fun or funny cartoon, then there are many others I'd recommend first. It's okay. I didn't mind watching it once. I can't imagine I'd watch it a second time.